Hi, so we promised you a 50% share from our channel, so here we are. Stay tuned for the end of the video to find out a few surprises. Here I am, it's here Mukherjee, out here, and we are doing a video for the Appa Kappa shit. And today we are out in the streets of Kolkata to know what the people have to say about abortions. The question is, are you both aware about the anti-abortion bill that was passed in Alabama? Yes, I am. Yes, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, I was. I mean, I have been reading, but I, I would say that I haven't read it fully. Okay, so what do you know about it? Well, I know that uh, now you cannot have an abortion in Alabama anymore, even though if it's for, let's say, they don't make an exclusion for the rape cases mm -hmm. and uh, for incest, I mean, which of course is, I mean, I get where they're coming from. I mean, they're, you know, very uh, conservative Christians as mm -hmm. they are. Uh, but not to make an exception for rape cases or incest, it just doesn't make sense for me at okay. least. Yeah, I know that there was a yeah, bill that was a passed. very big, you know, he was about it. So I'm not okay. really sure about the details. I think like it's super restricted to like redneck areas like in Alabama and it doesn't really represent what a majority of the US population thinks and I don't really think that's the kind of move that is supposedly going to get them the vote base further on and I don't really understand why it's particularly been pushed in not super well read on it so like don't really know much about it the majority of the people who voted on the, uh, on the issue I think the majority of the people were men who voted on the issue so that's yeah. really not Done. So, uh, are you aware about the abortion laws that there are in India? Yes. Okay, so I do. Yeah. What do you know about it? So, India also has a similar laws where uh, abortion is not, you know, um, allowed after certain age or at certain point. But there are several discrepancies, or I would say ambiguities in the law, which needs to be um, further discussed. Not really. Not. I do know that, I mean, you have to get two cases of one where you have to have a psychological impact, mm -hmm. one you have to have a, like, a, a physical, uh, you know, uh, some sort of a threat to the person in, in itself. But I also happen to know personally that you have to go have, you can go and bribe the doctor and you can get, it's India, right? I mean, you can always work through bribes. And do you approve of the abortion right? I do. No, abortion is a human right. I mean, it's it cannot be uh, punished or it cannot be uh, regulated by a law. That's yes. what I feel. It's a choice of a woman mm -hmm. and it should not be uh, done by a legal mechanism. Abortion is not a problem. Normally, if you have a family, you can't get an abortion. I approve. To some extent, yes. Okay. I fully but, approve. Yeah. Approve. I approve of the idea of abortion because A, there is a very sentimental angle to this, which is the child, it's you're killing a life, whatever. But at the cost of your own life, I don't think it makes any sense. Also, if you're not in a situation to conceive a child, mm -hmm. actually having the baby in a, in, a, in a sentimental mindset mm -hmm. destroys your life and the child's life, mm -hmm. which is a risky place to be in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you approve of abortion? Absolutely, I mean, of, I mean, dude, these like fundamental things, like not the basic tenets of like any democracy, any like free society, and I think it's perfectly fine for any individual to choose what they do with their like free society. Yeah, it should be your decision any day. If you want to abort a child, if you want to have a child, it's your decision, irrespective of anything. So it should be there. True, I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, when you look at like arguments from, let's say, Ben Shapiro or someone like that, you go ahead and see whether or not it's a life that's different from yours, that you can influence. I mean, if it was too stringent, if abortion was not allowed, we would be in a lot of trouble. Hi guys, this is Ishanu and this RC is not so those of you who watch the videos only for RC, a little fuck you to you. Mere ko kharaab lagta hai, but give me some time, I'll grow on you. So RC has actually gone out to talk to Ruchira and convince her 50% wo usse dene wala nahi hai. And getting back to the topic, we'll be talking about the abortion laws in the US. Alabama, the Human Life Protection Act. The governor of Alabama 
signed a bill on May 15 of 2019 that makes abortion a felony with a sentence of up to 99 years for both the doctor and the patient. Though this hasn't been implemented yet, we do see the decline of state-run abortion clinics in the state from 48 in 1987 to 3 in 2019. You must keep in mind that a rape sentence in the US has an average range of 5 to 7 years. Think about it. So, US ke baare mein to pata chal gaya. Par hum to desi hai. Desh ke baare mein bhi to pata karna chahi hai. MTP. Koi fancy term nahi hai. Medical termination of pregnancy. It's an act that was introduced in India in 1971. It dictates that any adult woman can undergo an abortion under the guidance of a medical practitioner till the period of 10 to 12 weeks without any hassle. Till 20 to 24 weeks, she can undergo an abortion under the guidance of at least two medical practitioners and obviously it's a surgical abortion at that point. These abortions are carried out at private and government clinics which are approved by the MTP Act. In the interview, we found many people going like, No, abortion is bad, so society doesn't allow it. A little fuck you to them and let's move on. We see that the abortion laws in India are quite liberal and supportive of women's rights. But let's look at the real picture. Adult women are denied abortions in institutions approved by the MTP Act across the country. Mommy law, Papa law, Baitte hai, baate karenge, uske baad dekha jayega kya hota hai. I know of many instances where in the city of Kolkata itself, women well above 18 years of age have been denied basic sexual health checkups and abortions just because their parents were not there. And this happened in reputed hospitals across the city. So, if this can happen in a city like Kolkata, just imagine what must be happening in rural and semi-urban areas. You can't deny that there's a social stigma associated with abortions. Each year, 2.9% of India's female population undergoes unsafe abortions in unsanitary conditions under the care of unqualified medical practitioners. And some of them aren't medical practitioners at all. Well, you might say 2.9%? That's such a small number. Not to me. 2.9% actually adds up to 19 to 20 million people every year. India is a populated country, you see. Shocked already? I have something more for you. There have been instances where women consume substances like bleach, kerosene and even fertilizers to induce a miscarriage. What is even more ghastly is the use of metal hooks to pry the fetus from the womb. These methods are unscientific but they're easy to do. They lead to the risk of contamination, infection, shut up lizard, contamination, infections and they do put the mother's life in danger. To the pro-lifers out there, their lives do matter, don't they? People say, what about female feticide? It doesn't take a scientist to realize that female feticide and abortions are two completely disjoint entities. Female feticide or like sex determination of unborn babies has been illegal in India and female feticide or infanticide has been illegal in India since the 1870s. Even the Brits went like Tum nokar hai mera par tum jo ye kar raha hai ye galat hai Instead of trying to govern women's bodies, I think the same effort should be put in to implementing the laws banning female feticide.
of course there is the exception where there are physical and psychological consequences and the medical board intervenes but what we are trying to say here is the decision to abort a fetus is solely the mother's There's just one last thing that I personally want to say. No uterus, no penis. And bro, Ruchi da nahi mani. I don't care. The video is done. Oh, it's done. Okay, so if you like this video, do not forget to hit the like button. If you have any comments about it, the comment section is yours. And if you haven't already, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about our regular content. So that's it. Bye bye.